Welcome to the wasteland where every choice you make could be your last. Today, we're not just surviving. We're diving deep into one of Fallout 4's most morally complex missions in sheep's clothing. This mission challenges your ethics, strategy, and could very well redefine your journey in the Commonwealth. But that's not all. Beyond the bustling streets of Diamond City and the stark moral dilemmas lies a character shrouded in mystery. A character whose past might just be entwined with the very core of the Fallout saga. Did you know this character might have a secret history connected to the origins of the series? Who are they and how does their hidden backstory affect your choices today? Stay tuned as we uncover this mystery. In the mission in sheep's clothing, the tranquility of Diamond City is shattered when you uncover that Mayor McDonough, the very pillar of this bustling community, is not what he seems. Revealed to be a synth, an artificial being, McDonough's true nature throws the city and your morals into turmoil. You are presented with three stark choices. Kill him immediately. This choice offers a quick resolution to the threat he poses. However, while straightforward, this action yields limited rewards, both materially and in terms of story progression. Let him go. Opting for mercy reflects an ethical stance, showing compassion even towards a synth. Despite its moral high ground, this decision is less rewarding in terms of gameplay, potentially leaving you questioning the lost opportunities for justice or recompense. Bring him to trial. This balanced approach not only secures the approval of your companions who value justice and due process, but also aligns well with the moral complexity Fallout games are known for. It results in substantial in-game rewards, enhancing both your reputation and your relationships within the game. Each decision impacts the world of Fallout 4 in unique ways. Choosing to kill McDonough may tarnish your reputation with certain companions who prefer a more thoughtful approach, while letting him go can lead to future uncertainties and missed opportunities for closure. Bringing him to trial, however, not only satisfies the community's need for justice, but also bolsters your standing, illustrating the profound effects of your choices on both the immediate and overarching narrative. As we delve deeper into the Fallout universe, a surprising controversy emerges linking Fallout 4 back to its origins in Fallout 1. A recent statement by Emil Pagliarulo, a lead writer for Fallout 4, has stirred the waters among fans. Pagliarulo suggested that Nate, the male protagonist of Fallout 4, might have appeared as a soldier in the iconic opening cinematic of Fallout 1, overseeing the execution of an unarmed resistance fighter during the annexation of Canada. This event, a key moment in the pre-war narrative, adds layers of moral complexity to Nate's character, previously known as a war hero. The reaction from the Fallout community was swift and divided. Fans took to social media to express their intrigue, disappointment, or outright disagreement with this new angle on Nate's backstory. Some appreciated the deeper narrative connection across the series, while others felt it restricted their freedom to shape Nate's character in their personal gameplay. Further complicating matters, Padlairulo later clarified that this connection was part of his personal headcanon not an official part of the Fallout lore. This backtracking has left the community pondering the implications for role-playing. In Fallout, where player choice and character development are paramount, the idea that Nate's past is predefined challenges the very essence of role-playing in the series. Players may now have to reconcile this backstory with their vision of Nate, potentially limiting how they can morally navigate him through the wastelands of Fallout 4. This controversy highlights a critical aspect of gaming, the tension between predefined character histories and player freedom. As Fallout continues to evolve, how these narratives are handled will be crucial in maintaining the delicate balance that allows players to craft their unique stories within this richly textured world. Amid the ruins and revelations of Fallout 4, players often encounter scenes that tug at the heartstrings, reminding us of the deep human and animal connections that persist even in a post-apocalyptic world. One such scene, recently shared by a player, features a lone cat sitting quietly beside a skeleton, presumably its former owner. 
this poignant image captures the enduring loyalty of pets and the silent sorrow of the world that Fallout inhabits. It raises unanswerable questions about the lives led before the fall and the stories ended untimely by disaster. Beyond this touching scene, the expansive world of Fallout 4 is riddled with Easter eggs and hidden narratives that enrich the experience and reward the curious explorer. For instance, tucked away in Diamond City, players can discover a curious house filled to the brim with cats and cat-related paraphernalia, hinting at the eccentricities of its owner. Another hidden gem is the series of small gifts players can receive from grateful residents after making pivotal decisions that impact the community, such as deciding the fate of Mayor McDonough. These discoveries not only add layers of depth to the game's primary quests, but also allow players to engage with the world in uniquely personal ways. Each hidden story or Easter egg serves as a testament to Bethesda's attention to detail and their commitment to creating a living, breathing world where every nook and cranny holds potential for discovery. In Fallout 4, hacking terminals is not just a skillful exercise in breaking codes, it's a vital tool that opens new pathways and opportunities throughout the Commonwealth. Let's break down this intricate process and discover the strategic advantages it holds for savvy players. Hacking Mechanics Explained To hack a terminal in Fallout 4, you're presented with a screen filled with lines of code and words scattered throughout. Your task is to select the correct password from these words. Upon selecting a word, the terminal displays how many letters in your choice match the correct password's letters in both position and sequence. This feedback is your key clue in narrowing down the possibilities. If your initial guesses don't lead to success, you're locked out temporarily. But here's a pro tip. Before your final attempt, exit the terminal to avoid the lockout and reset your chances. Special characters also play a crucial role in hacking. Enclosed within brackets such as or these characters, when selected, can either remove incorrect password options or reset your allowed attempts, greatly enhancing your chance of cracking the code without needing to reset. Strategic Benefits of Hacking Beyond the thrill of breaking into a secured terminal, hacking provides substantial gameplay advantages. Gaining access to locked areas often leads to valuable loot, exclusive areas, and sometimes even alternative solutions to quests. For instance, hacking can allow you to deactivate hostile security systems, control automated defenses to fight for you, or release locks on essential supplies and doors. Each successful hack not only progresses your exploration, but can also turn a potentially dangerous situation into a manageable one. Moreover, hacking expertise continues to benefit you by influencing companion opinions and unlocking unique interactions. Companions like Nick Valentine appreciate a good hacker, and developing your hacking skills can strengthen your relationship with them, opening up further storyline options and benefits. As we wrap up today's deep dive into Fallout 4, we revisited the complex moral choices in the In Sheep's Clothing mission, explored the controversial potential backstory of Nate linking back to Fallout 1, uncovered heartbreaking and intriguing hidden gems throughout the Commonwealth, and mastered the crucial skill of hacking. Each element we discussed not only enriches your gameplay experience, but also deepens your engagement with the richly detailed world of Fallout 4. If you found today's exploration of Fallout 4 as fascinating as we did, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more insightful content. We'd love to hear about your experiences and views on these topics. Drop a comment below to share your thoughts and any discoveries you've made in your own journeys through the Commonwealth. Stay tuned for our next video where we'll uncover more hidden stories and secrets tucked away in the vast world of Fallout. Until then, keep wandering and wandering in the wasteland.